Hi, I'm Billy Raybach with Motor Trend, and this is the 2022 Kia EV6. Let's take a deeper dive into the future of Kia. I've been checking out the Kia EV6 all morning, and I found a lot to love. Kia's offering everything from a car with a 58 kilowatt hour battery with rear wheel drive, all the way up to an all wheel drive car with a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery and dual motors. This car that we're looking at here has 320 horsepower and 446 pound feet of torque. Those are pretty impressive stats. That being said, there is a car on the way with 576 horsepower. It'll do a zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. For a Kia, that's insane. The EV6 stands out in its segment with future forward design. You'll notice that the car has a nice contrast of sharp lines and curved surfaces. One of the things that makes the EV6 look so sleek are the door handles that can fold in flush with the bodywork. Although we don't know the EV6's trim structure yet, every model will get the halo light on the rear. The EV6 has standard ultra-fast charging thanks to its 800 volt and 400 volt architecture. That means it has ultra-fast charging, but you can also plug it in pretty much wherever. It also has a vehicle to load system. That means that you can plug in a fridge and power the fridge off of the car. How cool is that? Kia tells us that the battery will charge from 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes. That's the fastest compared to all of its competitors, including the Tesla Model Y and the Ford Mach-E. The inside of the EV6 is just as futuristic as the exterior. Let's start with the really cool cantilevered centered console. It's got this awesome dial shifter, which has an independent park button in the middle, and then you can rotate it for drive and reverse so you don't get confused. Then back here, we have the phone charging pad, so you can wirelessly charge your cell phone. Some of the other cool features that we have here are the ventilated seats, the heated seats, and the steering wheel heater. Those are all capacitive buttons. So above the vents in the middle, we have two 12.3 displays for the gauge cluster and for the infotainment. For anyone who's driven a Kia recently, the layout and user interface should be pretty familiar. The screens are fast, clear, and easy to use. The next really exciting thing about the interior is that Kia is offering regenerative braking via a paddle system. It makes the driving experience more immersive and drivers can choose how much regenerative braking they apply to the car by clicking up or down. Kia wanted the interior to feel like a mixture of the future and the familiar, and I think they've really achieved that here. That's the Kia EV6. As you can see, the future's looking bright for Kia. For more on this vehicle, head over to motortrend.com.